For patients with vitiligo, treatments for repigmentation of skin lesions are lacking. The Janus kinase inhibitor ruxolitinib previously showed promise in a Phase II trial. Now Phase III data are available. In two multinational Phase III randomized controlled trials, 674 adolescents and adults with non-segmental vitiligo and deep pigmented areas covering no more than 10% of their body surface area were assigned in a 2 to 1 ratio to apply either 1.5% ruxolitinib cream or vehicle cream twice daily for 24 weeks. The primary endpoint was a decrease or improvement of at least 75% from baseline in the facial vitiligo area scoring index at 24 weeks. In both trials, approximately 30% of the patients in the ruxolitinib groups had at least a 75% improvement on the facial scoring index, as compared with 7 to 11% in the vehicle cream groups. Results for key secondary endpoints also favored ruxolitinib, including the proportion of patients having at least a 50% improvement on the facial scoring index, and the proportion having at least a 90% improvement. Results from an open-label extension phase of the trials suggested additional benefit with ruxolitinib through week 52. Most adverse events were mild to moderate. Application site acne and pruritus were the most common. The authors conclude that in patients with non-segmental vitiligo, twice-daily application of ruxolitinib cream for 24 weeks improved repigmentation of facial and total body skin lesions, but was associated with application site acne and pruritus. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.